Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The Phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the Phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. What the? Right. Dragon and a phoenix. Just like the mirrors. So this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east, from across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him, the strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten, alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. We might find some clues about my father there. Let's go. Sure. Hey, Shenhua. We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure? It didn't contain any clues? Uh... Shenhua? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand.
Hello, Liu. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. Did something happen? A group of thugs tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's keep moving. Hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes, but it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Liu. I'll try another settlement. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Nope. All I care about is martial arts. Okay then. Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not! For I am the great Su Zexiong. I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chi. Will do. Is anyone there? Uh, I guess nobody's home. Do you have a moment? Huh? What is it? Hello? Uh, I guess nobody's home.
I need help with something. What do you want? I'm looking for someone named Yuan. No, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there, but that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Is anyone there? Uh, I guess nobody's home. Is anyone there? Uh, looks like no one's home. Excuse me. What do you want? Don't get all cozy with me. Sorry to bother you. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. I need your help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm not supposed to be talking right now. My master says I have to practice more. I'm looking for him. Go ask one of the other kids running around. Okay. Hello? Uh, I guess nobody's home. Let's have a look around here first. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yin? Uh, no. He's a stonemason. Mason, just like my daddy. Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at seven at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, Daddy. Well, get to it. I haven't seen you in around. If you know anything, I'd... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? 
It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? Uh, they were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuan's place too? I don't know. Yuren was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that too. Maybe. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Anything new, Ryo? Not about your father, no. I see. It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. Let's go. Yeah. Your house is pretty far from the village, huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah. So, your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them, too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then how do you know it has so much history? Well, everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh, yeah? 
That's just how things work here. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall? Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here, from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Ryo, you should come here to practice when you have time. Is that... Okay. Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? Sorry? Hmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. Say you, will you join us? Yes, absolutely. Very well. What is your name? Ryo Hazuki. I shall have a name tag prepared for you. You will start from the lowest rank. Rank? Yes. You must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up. You must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu. Whose shop is that? Over the bridge. Oh, it belongs to Uncle Tao. Uncle Tao, huh? Yes, people can get anything they need from his shop. I see. Leo, did you pack anything to eat? Why do you ask? Well, you can't run on an empty stomach. That's a very good point. Be sure to keep a little something on hand in case you get hungry later. A lot of places in the village sell food, too. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind.
Leo, this herb. This is... It's licorice. You can make Chinese medicine with it. So, you can turn this into medicine, huh? Not just this. There are lots of herbs growing in Bailu. Where do they grow? They're all over the place, but you have to really look for them. Oh, really? There should be special maps at Uncle Tao's shop. Someone actually made maps? Yes, if you find enough to make some medicine. Uncle Tao will buy them from you. Okay, I'll have to keep that in mind. I have to go with Shenhua. I would like to know, what's the tall tower just past the village square? Ah, uh, yes, that's the bell tower. What is it for? We ring the bell if there's a fire in the mountains, or if something dangerous is encroaching on the village. Is that why it's so tall? Precisely. It's also a useful landmark, because you can see it from anywhere in the village. That's handy. So, you can find your way back to the square, if you head for the bell tower? That's right. I'll have to keep that in mind. I should talk to more people around here. Excuse me. You're not from around here, are you? Yue Fang, this is a friend of mine. Um... Is that right? Have you seen the thugs that came to the village recently? Word has it they showed up at the Wong household. But Wen's lips are sealed. Maybe she'd open up to you. It's worth a shot. Thank you very much. Just be careful, okay? She'd be heartbroken if anything were to happen to you. Huh? Who would be heartbroken? Shenhua, that's who! Actually, I... Oh dear. There I go running my mouth again! <laughs> okay then. I need help with something. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Can I talk to you about something? Sh Shenhua, w what's up? This is Liu. He's a friend of mine. For real? I need help with something. Hmm? I'm looking for Wang Wen. I have nothing to say to a stranger. Ming Yang. W w what, Shenhua? Did you see Wang Wen or not? I saw her heading toward the Verdant Bridge. Thanks, Ming Yang. Oh, uh, don't mention it. I'm just, you know. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Hello, one. Senhua. This is my friend, Yo. Oh, really? Your friend? I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? One. Did the thugs show up here? That they did. But my husband drove them off. He's really good to have around in times like these. What did they want? That's what I'd like to know. They kept hollering something about wanting to meet the stonemason. I was inside and didn't see anything. My husband told me about it after it was over. 
I see. Let's talk to Shiren, one's husband. Good idea. Thanks again. Thanks, one. Hello, Leo. Da Tong. What's with the two of you? Is Wong Shiren around? I'd like to talk to Shiren. He left to patrol Long Weishan. It's up ahead. You'll see signs for it. I see. Excuse me. What do you want? What are you two doing here? Uh, there's something I want to ask. I'm looking for some thugs. Have you seen any? Did you see two of them the other night? Yeah, a big man with long hair, and a man with a shaved head and a spider tattoo. Tell me more. They barged in during the middle of the night when I was sleeping. They kept yelling this and that about a stonemason. I told them they had the wrong house and drove them off. Then I went right back to bed. Is there anybody else? Do you know where they went after that? That I don't know. But I do know that there were other witnesses. A man I met at the bar was talking about it. He was a bookie with a scar on his face. What kind of scar? A big one. On his cheek. We should talk to him, Leon. Yes. Let's go find him. Hey, Shenhua. Yeah? I think we should split up and look for the bookie. I'll search from here to the village square. You go from the village square to the next settlement. Got it. I'll see you later. Yeah. Excuse me. 
Do you know a bookie with a scar on his face? Who's that now? I'm looking for a bookie with a scar on his face. Oh, you mean the man who runs the pale toss? You should never judge a book by its cover. That man just looks crooked. Be careful not to get cheated. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. Oh, hello. How about a game of lucky hit? Not right now. Come on, come on, try it. I'm looking for a bookie with a scar on his face. You mean Schwen? Where can I find him? He's the stone toss guy over there. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? A scarred face. This must be the guy. Huh? You say something? There's something I want to ask. So what? You're not here to play? I'm looking for someone who's seen those thugs. Oh, yeah. That guy. Where can I find him? I'll tell you after we play. Okay. Uh, lately, I'm not as good as I used to be. Why don't we let our throws do the talking? A challenge, huh? Yeah. Beat me and I'll tell you. How about it? Let's do this. I think I can recall some things now. <laughs> so, where can I find someone who saw the thugs? Oh, right. Witnesses. I heard they gave the bookie running the flower, bird, wind, and moon games some trouble. Where can I find this person? I've only seen him when out drinking. Have no idea where he'd be now. Oh, really? Pale Toss? Want to try Pale Toss? Maybe some other time. Yep, see you around then. Excuse me. What is it? Do you know the Flower, Bird, Wind, and Moon Bookie? I hate people who hang around places like that. I understand, but I'd like to talk to him. Not sure what to tell you. I see. Excuse me. <coughs> Do you know the flower, bird, wind, and moon bookie? Who's that now? I'd like to talk to the flower, bird, wind, and moon bookie. If you want to speak with him, then go see him. Any idea where I might find him? There's a venture area called Joy Park near the Verdant Bridge. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. Yo! Need some tokens? Actually, I need some help. 
I'd like to talk to the flower, bird, wind, and moon bookie. Eh, sorry, bud. Haven't seen him. I'd tell you to come earlier, but we all operate on bookie time. When do you expect him? He usually shows up at 7 p.m. Got it. Thanks a lot. Excuse me. One shot! One shot! Get your one shot here! No thanks. I'd like to talk about the flower, bird, wind, and moon bookie. Over there. Thanks. Excuse me. Hey there! Try your hand at flower, bird, wind, and moon. Care to try it, handsome? I just have a question. Aw, oh, why so serious, buddy? I hear those thugs cause some trouble. You're telling me! It was awful! What happened? I'll tell you all about it, if you play around. You gotta win, naturally! <laughs> I'll have to collect your bed in advance. All right. Which do you bet on? Flower, bird, wind, or moon? This one. Coming in. One goes to me. Up for another? I'll have to collect your bed in advance. All right. Which do you bet on? Flower, bird, wind, or moon? Coming in. Heating up! What happened with the thugs? They came in here, busted everything up, and stole my money! I've lost a fortune! I'll make this right, I promise. Tell me more. All right, might as well. Two of them came here that night. One was a big, long-haired guy. The other had his head shaved, showing off his spider tattoo. A big, long-haired guy? and a bald man with a spider tattoo on his head. Got it. They kept threatening me, asking where the stonemason lives. I tried to act tough. Told them to have a look around the village square so they'd buzz off. So that's how they found Joe and Wong's houses. Then they came back to yell at me because they didn't find who they wanted. I handed over some money and they let me go saying something about the Sunflower Grove. The Sunflower Grove. Got it. Thanks. That's a huge help. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house.
Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? I'm heading for the Sunflower Grove. I heard that's where the thugs went. Are you serious? If you find them, then you should be able to find out where my father is. That's the plan. Don't worry. I'll find them. Thank you so much. What's the Sunflower Grove like? It's jam-packed with sunflowers, for starters. It's quiet out there, just flowers and some old ladies raising cattle. That sounds nice. Kids like to play around there, though, so it can get a bit loud. I hope they don't get mixed up with those thugs. Me too. I really hope I find those thugs tomorrow. Me too. Before they bother any of the kids. Agreed. Please be careful, okay? It smells good. I'm excited to see what... Looks good. Guess I'll take it. Hey, Xinhua. What is it, Liao? It gets really quiet at night, doesn't it? And pitch black once the sun sets. You shouldn't go out after dark. Good point. There aren't any street lights out here either. Everyone turns in early too. Well, aside from Sunset Hill, it's always busy out there. Really? What's the attraction out there? The bars that open up at night. There are bars in the village? Sure are. That's where all the adults go to drink and talk. Loudly. Do you want to go see it for yourself? Hmm. Okay. I'll check it out. I'll go with you when you do. You will? All right. Say, Leo. Yeah? Tell me about where you were born. You want to know about Yokosuka? If that's where you were born, then yes. Yeah. I was born there. What's it like? Talking about Yokosuka reminds me of my friends. The people you told me about on the way here, right? Yeah, exactly. Let's see. There was Goro, the punk. Right. Tom, the hot dog vendor. Right again. You've got a good memory. And Harasaki, the photo lady. Huh? Photo lady? Oh, right. I showed you her photo. Yes, she's pretty. Yeah, she is. Yeah, you could say that.